Hi, this is IQQ with another video. This is not going to be a video review. This is just going to be, well, in a real sense, not a real video review. Review of a, uh, of a little gadget I bought online for my handphone, my uh, HTC uh, Touch 2, which is uh, which is this little gadget here. It's a mm, telescope or something like that for uh, for your handphone so you could uh, focus long distance um... what you get as you saw in my unboxing video or I may or may not put it up online depending on how I felt uh... you get the mounting bracket which is spring loaded uh... an adjusting uh... uh... dial here so you can move the lens up and down so it's over the over your camera lens on your phone and uh, since I paid a little extra I got this uh, imitation gorilla stand or whatever it's called as you can see it's not <sighs> very flexible but I guess it's good enough for some stuff I don't know an extra camera stand always helps you know what I mean so um... basically there's nothing much to it you get the, uh, the scope here it comes with only one cap on the back side no cap in the front it is a fixed lens, eight times zoom. If I'm not mistaken, is what it says here. Eight times f 1.1. It's a fixed lens, manual focusing. This is not zooming. This is actually some sort of manual focusing. If I'm not mistaken. And basically, yeah, and don't let it run off. You drop it in like so, and you twist it until you hear it snap. Yeah, there, this it snaps. Basically, it's stuck on really tight. So, I'll just open it up. So anyway, I have taken several videos and photographs with and without the lens, zoomed and not zoomed. Uh, it will come right after I sh demonstrate how to mount this on your phone. So let me just get my HTC. Yeah, come here, you. So basically, my lens is here. And the camera is here, to be precise. And my orientation for this would be like that so using this pad here pull this into play now, doesn't matter if it pops off you know why guess you can flip it back on well since the the uh... Like, uh the uh... volume control down here i would rather have this pad here so it just Goes over. Oops, sorry. Just as you can see, it goes over the manual control. Ah, uh, volume control. And you flip it over here. Okay, that's much better. And you adjust it. And you twist this. And try to bring it into the center. Let's see. That's the center. It looks generally the center. It, don't tighten it, of course. Mount this guy in. Where is the socket? Oh, there it is. Okay. okay. So I'll lock my phone. So, what I think about this? Well, construction wise, it is a pretty cheap device. It's 55 ringgit, so that makes it about. Uh, 55, it makes it about. No, what, uh, 15 bucks US? Something around there? 15 bucks US. It's, there's some, there's some uh, contamination inside the lens. I, I think there's one black speck of dust inside there, and like, some kind of wire. You don't notice it when you take the uh, uh, you, you won't notice it when you take the pictures. 
because uh, it'll be like totally unfocused, uh, you know, like, it won't be focused on it, so it doesn't matter. As a device by itself, it is pretty useful, you know, if you want to, you have only your camera and you want to take a picture and then you want to send it off to, through the internet, especially a long range shot, as you, you will see in my, uh, previously, long range shots are pretty oh, decent, so you know, you can get some nice shots. Um, if you were if you were to carry this, which is not much, you could also carry a camera. But like I said, you just want to just use your phone, and you don't want a camera. You don't want all these extra accessories. You can just bring this guy along. It's pretty helpful. Um, not only that, um, you know, it fits any phone as long as you avoid the buttons, which I didn't, which I think I avoided it. Well, it's not pressing too much on this. It should be okay. You can see it's, it's the foam here is pressing on the on the uh, volume control, so yeah, I don't know. You're gonna have to arrange it properly, or, or use this or something like that. I mean, it's not one of the best design devices, but it, like I said, as a gadget, it's pretty fun to use. I might use it maybe once or twice a month at the very most. And uh, if you can find it, you probably will find it under uh, in eBay. You probably find it in mobile mobile telescope or mobile phone telescope or something like that and uh, that's it so uh, what can I say I wouldn't recommend it but if you want to play with something like this you know it's nice to play with focusing is okay it's not the best um, uh, like I said it's not, it's not a very good build quality but there, there you go so anyway this is IQ signing off